Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jeremy from Well Tech Designs, and as you know, we are building this incredible Chevy Express van for SEMA 2019. Well, one of the things that during over the course of this last year, I've realized that I've wanted and needed the ability to keep drinks and things cold. So I thought, why not add a refrigerator to the van? And so what we did is we're going with the Smitty built refrigerator. I really wanted to try this out. Um, and kind of see like how it works. Um, this is, I'm new to this. This is all brand new. Um, so like a lot of you guys, you guys have been looking at refrigerators, whether you're trying to choose maybe um, an ARB or a Dometic, um, perhaps a Smitty built refrigerator for your vehicle. We're gonna give you an honest opinion, let you know um, like, hey, how do we like it? What's good about it? Um, what's bad about it and really just put this thing to use and as you know that we spend a lot of time out at the racetrack um, With my son Caden and that is all if you have not if you've been living under a rock Make sure you go and check out growing up garage where you can see I got this awesome new growing up garage hat camouflage Snapback super sick, but um enough enough of me jibber jabbering. Let's open this thing up I haven't even opened it up yet. We just I just got it and let's, let's get crazy. Unbox this thing. Instructions, you're gonna wanna probably make sure you keep those. All right, here it comes guys, ready? Ready that, oh, all right. Get it out of that box. And you can see that I am not lying, well, that came off easy. Dude, I honestly thought it was going to be gray I'm so happy that it's black because the interior of the van is black. So, all right, so awesome. This is gonna be a case, a cover for the outside of it. It's gonna come with a giant basket on the inside for storage of stuff. And then here's gonna come with a charging unit. So this is what is actually gonna plug into your cigarette lighter and then plug into the fridge. And then let's see what we got here. This is just gonna be the continued, the control module for it. All right, let's check out the cover. Let's see how this thing fits on. Here. Well, we got it here and then we're gonna head out to the van. We'll go check this thing out. We gotta be smarter than the cooler, smarter than the back. That's gonna be the bottom of it. Ah, Velcro, I was looking for a zipper. All right, so the it's Velcro's open, pretty cool. And then we're gonna go ahead, we can actually slide the whole cooler We'll put it in there, a sweet little carrying bag for it. Um, and what's nice about this is if you want to be able to tie it down, it looks like it's going to have the straps um, in order to kind of hook the cooler on. We might actually use those. It might come in really cool, really handy. Um, and you can see there's also some storage compartments on the side of this. So I like that, but um, let's go check this thing out. Let's go put it in the van and plug it in. So we are here in our Chevy Express van and um, I didn't get, like, get this on camera, but I put this actually in the case. Um, what's gonna be really cool about this case is like how I mentioned before, how it's gonna have the D-rings. I think this is gonna work really well. Um, and what's nice about this is you can see that this is just a Velcro top and then you have really easy access to be able to get in and out of there. Um, and then we're gonna have all of our control panel on the front. So once this thing is all closed back up, and I'm gonna flip this around, you can see our access panel back here in the back of this, where we're gonna plug this in. So you actually get three different options. First, you're gonna have the power supply. So we're gonna go ahead and plug that in. So now what you're gonna do is you could choose whether you wanna be able to plug this in in your house or if you have uh, 110 in your, um, in your van or RV, you'll be able to plug that directly into it. Um, we do have the 110 capability when the vehicle is running in the Chevy van, but we're not gonna go ahead and use this right now. I'm actually gonna take this and I'm gonna store it in the pocket of these awesome um, seats that we have in here. 
And then I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna plug this in. Oh, actually I don't need that for this. All right, so that is only gonna be used then if you are running the 110, the 110 household. Otherwise you're just gonna plug that directly into there. And then let's go up front and plug this thing up into the front. So once I plug that in, I can see that I have power in here. So right now the power is on. I can come in and I can set up my temperature on here, what I want, how cold I want this to be. Um, so I'm gonna really have to get into the directions and stuff a little bit more, but right now let's go ahead and just wait for this thing to get cold. Come back, check it out, see if the temperature on the outside is actually matching the temperature on the inside. And then let's also look at how we're gonna secure this down to the floor in the van. What's up guys, we are back at the van and I wanna to talk to you more about this awesome Smitty built fridge that I am running in here. And I have to say that I'm really digging this thing. This past weekend, Caden was at the races and we used this thing a ton in order to put drinks and keep his lunch cold. Um, and then Sunday we were off to the Lucas races where once again I had all the kids in here. I was able to keep everything from baby food to snacks cold in here and I didn't have to worry about it getting waterlogged which I really like from when I run an ice cooler that's usually what happens is that everything just falls to the bottom and then it gets ruined. So I dig that. So I'll tell you what I'm not super um, loving yet and this is still just playing around and getting used to it was I thought that I would like the cooler right here um, and it was great here once we were parked and hanging out and had the awning out and having a good time but for getting in and out I'm not totally loving it right here so I think what I'm gonna do in this um, and this is gonna be on a future video because the cord as long as it is it's not going to reach all the way back to where I want it. So I definitely could run it here, but basically what I didn't like is I didn't like the intrusion of it being here when I was um, getting in and out of the van, when the kids were getting in and out of the van, I wasn't digging that. So I think what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna move the electrical outlet um, back underneath the rear window, and then I can actually position this um, 90 degrees so it'll kind of sit like, you know, in this position but it's going to sit back farther. So we'll definitely be sure to show you guys how we do that. And then also we just put this in so it was totally just a fly. Let's try it out. Um, I didn't mount it. So that's gonna be the other thing that I'm gonna do is take it and move it and mount it. I will tell you that the one thing that I wasn't super stoked on though, and I don't understand, maybe I'm installing this wrong. So you get these awesome clips that come with it in order to you know be able to secure this and you're able to tighten this all the way up it's got a ton of slack in there so what i didn't understand and maybe you guys can help me out with this in the video was that it, at its tightest position it is longer than the cooler so it doesn't necessarily work to tie it down the other thing i noticed is when i did go to cinch this down so if i wanted to bring it lower and i pulled it tight you can see that it actually started to pull the top off of it. So that was one thing that I wasn't like super stoked on when it's in this. Um, granted, you could probably run this through a different route. Um, so that's something that I'm gonna play with. And granted, there just wasn't instructions in there on how to mount this. Um, so that's kind of where, hey, I need you guys. If you guys are running a Smitty built, um, cooler. Let's see how you guys mounted it. I would love to see that. Um, share pictures with us on Instagram or um, comment below on YouTube. But um, overall, I'm super happy with it. And here's the biggest thing I always forget. So my wife is great enough to pack me lunch meat and normally I just put it in the front seat and then I forget about it and it goes bad. Now I can just put it in the cooler. It's still good. I can bring this inside and put it in the fridge. Um, so guys, let me know, what do you guys like better? Do you guys prefer a plug-in electric cooler or an ice cooler? Let me know what you guys think, comment below. Um, other than that, I will see you guys on the next video.